Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, here with another video for the 13 Nights of Halloween. Today it's World of Horror, a very cool game that is based off of Junji Ito, um, inspired by his art at least I should say, um, and it's also a horror game. It's really good, it's real fun, and it's still in early access, so let's go. Now let's see... Um, let me see... I'm gonna go with this, because I've never been able to beat it. So, let's go in. Something strange is happening in our town and we have to stop it. Rogue figures can be seen gathering the woods. People are going missing. Creatures are out and about. Technology, progress, modern area brings comfort. Basically, we have to stop an old god from doing some bullshit. So we have to do our best. Let's see what old god we're fighting. The thing forsaken by god, banished by the other dimensions a long time ago, Goizo has found a way to use mirrors to ens ensnare and teleport prey straight through the glass. Glimpses of the horror looking behind your reflection are just beginning. Old God's rules. Resetting at home raises doom. Resting at home raises doom? Backstory world of horror. Great. <sighs> okay. No, it's okay. We'll go home. Oh, all the mailboxes are empty. Well, first things first. Let's check out our outfits. Teacher's pet. Gym clothes. I mean, I kind of like Captain. I like the Captain look. Let's see. As I like to do, I like to <laughs> peek over the people, of course. This fucking guy. Probably just my imagination. Okay, let's see. We are gonna need to go start a new mystery. So we have to solve these five mysteries. I've never made it past three, though. It's very tough. Let's go here. Rotten report of rancid ramen. Out of thin air, a brand new ramen restaurant opens in town. It's adored by everyone. Sounds good. Once people take a bite, they can't stop. Day in, day out, the crunches stretch out the door. Shambling customers stuff themselves dish after dish, while the blind owner sits silently behind the counter, grinning and polishing his gleaming knives. You are determined to discover what makes this ramen so enticing. What's its true power? Dog meat? Human meat? Flesh of the gods themselves? Freaky. So we got some funds. So first thing we're gonna do... Is check up on the dog! Hello dog! This is the shop owner dog. Uh, let's see. Needs to... gonna try give me a surprise discount item got an empty bottle let's go back in there it's gonna raise my doom every time I go in there but I there it is a steak knife I wanted the steak knife nope not trade in there you go quit perfect now we have a weapon so that makes me feel much better about doing anything so watching the local news you spot a familiar street it's a feature about the newest ramen shop Food critic has a was a, has a manic look as he describes the ramen. His scream makes your stomach churn. In the apartments, while looking around the ransacked room of your recent deceased friend, discover a half-finished painting of a woman. Her skin is ghostly yellow color. Seen as disturbing, you struggle to look at it. Christmas check failure. Intimidated by the unsettling painting, you're haunted by nightmares. Two minus two reason. All right, you can see the restaurant through the staircase window. You watch the doors for hours, but never see any cooks enter nor leave. Keep going. You find an envelope lying in a pillow in your bedroom. Inside is cash and a note from someone who has been watching you. They wish you luck in your task and promise to meet you soon. How did this envelope end up in your bedroom? Plus two funds, minus one reason. The only true way to investigate is to go to the restaurant yourself. All right. Keep going. Costume to enter, chance for an ally. Let's see if we can do this. Huh, kind of much I should check later. Damn. What was that? Alright, whatever the hell that was, it's not there right now. Man, the last thing I needed for when playing this game is for some noise to actually happen in real life for me to get scared of. 
As you prepare a bath, you think about all the possible leads so far. You're very tired, so maybe ice cold water is a good idea. Let's go with cold water. Ice cold water revitalizes you, and you're ready for the investigation. Let me see. I think there's a way for me to. I think it's looking at my status. Oh, I'm not ready for a level up yet. <sighs> Seems you're not the only one wanting to try it yourself. You stand in line for hours, you question, your questions fall on deaf ears, and you're shunned. Yay. I know how that feels. The road seems to twist and turn when you're not looking, trapping you in this neighborhood. Get lost. You spend hours trying to find a way out. Finally completely exhausted, you end up in a main street as your passage to the blighted neighborhood slowly closes behind you. Resolve this event. Smell all around the restaurant is overpowering. Grease, rot, and... Is that blood you can smell? Dumpster dive. Discard two item cards to complete this quest. Let me see. Let me quickly... Bottle milk. Damn it, they actually gave me a... Just one stamina. Ah, that's fine. Discard. Discard. You sneak into the alley to the dead night, gagging. You look up inside the restaurant waste. It's a vile pulp, a few chunks of meat that looks promising samples, though. Hmm. Okay. So now I can investigate here. Oh, I should have looked at the smelly meat. Rancid meat of an unknown source. Disgusting. Of course. Dark forces scheme against you. You don't know how you can trust anymore. Curse. No! I'm suicidal now. It's finally your turn to order. When Robin please, you under grins widens. Chance to lose time and so every time you lose re Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. It's a bad effect to have. Seeing two chopped off heads, you can't help but wonder. Who's, being pre who's been preparing your food for the past week? Call the police. Research cold notes. Oh shit. Reading the Rams of Man made you sick. Resolve this effect. Minus two reason. The red bowl is pushed in your face. It's so crowded you're supposed to sit on the floor. Keep them investigating downtown. It's been almost a year since a childhood friend moved away to another city. He left suddenly without even saying goodbye. In a recent letter, he apologized for the disappearance and asked you to remove the furniture from his flat because he wants to sell it. In the envelope, you find a key to his apartment. Help your friend. You find another letter behind a wardrobe. It explains that the reason your friend left was that the shadow people were stalking him. You shudder when you realize you haven't seen the moving company truck driver's face. Plus five experience. Hmm... That isn't good. With a slick hand, you'll fill a vial with the soup and walk out without tasting the weird dish. Investigate lab. With pulling of some delicate strings, you get the ramen onto the, on, into the lab. While handing over the gathered material, you hesitate. What should you send to the laboratory? Vial and meat. You look at the charts and cannot believe your eyes. While your standard tests didn't detect anything weird, adding drops of human blood revealed something horrible. Whatever this thing is made of, it's alive, beating a soft pulse against the glass. Your friend leaves you with papers, muttering an excuse to prepare the flea town the next train. Prepare for a fight, you march down to the restaurant, however you find no Eldritch Horror to duel. Instead, you're shocked to find nothing but a gap in the street. You ignore the distraught customers still lining where they remember the entrance. Investigating the ground, you see something glistening where the kitchen used to be. Cautiously, you look at the chunk of meat and then jump back with a yell as it f as it flexes. It opens a weary eye, grins, and wanders off in the s on stubby black claws. You walk home shaken in your head and you hear the weird ramen breathing in its bowl. You can only stop to throw up in the street. Run and report on ranted ramen ending A. Rewards for solving this mystery. 30 XP, 15 XP, minus 3% doom. Tireless, one reason, and stamina. Time passage, one day. Alright. We did it. Okay. 
Local scientists are baffled that an unprecedented aura-like event has bathed the entire town in an unnatural green glow. Feeling paranoia and the discomfort are almost palpable in the air as doom progress old to God's influences. Uh, reason cost all spells to increase by one. Okay, well I don't have any of those, so that's fine. Inside your mailbox you find it. What's it doing in there? Take the key. I may as well check my items. No, really nothing? I was like I went through- I forgot that I'm suicidal. Town- <laughs> No, I didn't think that a statement. Um, back at home you think of the next move. So let me watch some TV. Search for the missing person continue in the forest surrounding Shiwakawa. If you have any information, choose to police support. Choose an action. Oh shit. I don't I don't know anything. Take a bath. Shower will help you calm down and do wonders to your sore muscles. What temperature would you like to set it on? Extra reason, small XP game. How close am I to leveling up? Change clothes. Let's look at the peephole. I see nothing. Can I go back to the town screen? No, I can't go into the town. Okay, continue. Um, start a new mystery. Far Out Fable of Far Out Festival, your aunt sends you to a letter inviting you to a curious sounding festival that holds every 27 years in a small village. If you don't like the sound of it, your parents both agree and send regrets all the stress. So now we're on a mystery. Just when you thought your stomach couldn't handle it anymore, the janky old bus stops its destination. You get up and take a deep breath before looking around. It's a small village and the nearby fields are surrounded by thick forest. Someone is waiting for you? Explore the weird village. Just when you thought your stomach couldn't okay. Fat man wearing a dusty overalls approaches you at the inn owner. He promises to pick you up. Falling close behind him, your eyes are drawn to his hands, which are now deformed and resemble claws more than hands. Great. That's great. Alright, to progress this mystery, choose actions that will advance the clock as you learn about the terrible secrets of a more actionable unlock. Okay. And let's go check out the room, huh? It's dusty and it hasn't been seen in visitors in years. You wonder if anyone's cleansed it since the last festival 27 years ago. There's full of available actions. Relax a bit. Alright. Nope. We're gonna explore the weird town. You stand in the middle of the field, frozen in terror. Rip in reality shows a horrible future of our planet. Seeing the familiar figure looking back at you, you can't help but wonder is your world just an illusion? Enter the portal. If we get close to the portal, ready to swap places, where are you? Lost in time and space, you drift into nothingness until something pulls you toward the light. A parasitic star is looming at the dying civilization. Is this the fate of our planet as well? Uh... Let's go into the Doom Temple. Perception check success. Inside a decaying nave, you find a keepsake of the ancient world. I found a fucking katana. There's a humanoid skeleton. <laughs> cool. I have a sword. Oh, I bought that steak knife for nothing. It's cool. Oh, I can just. This is a free action. Enjoy the festival. There's still some time before the festival starts. The locals are seemingly busy up stands to decorate the place. A few stands are already open up. It's getting late. Look for friends. <sighs> you stumble into your friend, dog. Hey, can you spare some time with me? 4% doom if agreed. Help your friend. Do I have dog in my party now? Higher chance of finding a wolf. Oh, that's cool. Talk to dog. Dog is wagging its tail. <laughs> 
I'm not letting go, dog. Uh, three hooded figures saying, uh, who, who are they? Oh. They all wore strange masks. Should you follow them into the forest or try to find more? Follow into the forest, obviously. So, this is a free action. Onisan sounds good. Yay! So, we need to go into the forest. Oh, look at the dog. Adorable. It said that the famous priest died on the rock. Perhaps his mysticism has seeped into it. Tap into its power. Touching it with your hand, you feel a newfound knowledge forming in your mind. Plus spell. Gain a spell. Alright, cool. Skin removal? What the fuck? I'll cost my reason, though. Probably not gonna use that anytime soon. Uh, let's see. I don't think I can enjoy the festival. I need to keep on checking out the forest. Sudden storm forces you to find shelter in a nearby cave. Looking around, you discover strange markings on the cave wall. I'll try to decipher them. Aw. Uh, damn it. I learned nothing. Going back to the end, you overhear two masters. They're talking about something awakening the next time. What's up with that? It's not safe here. See, advances the clock. Do here. Go here. Need all the stamina I can get. Oh, apparently my max is 17. Explore the weird village. Following a weird gargling sound, you enter an alley. Standing at the shadow, you notice a person wearing a police uniform. Move along, citizen. Nothing to see here. You made a horrible mistake. What the fuck? Lumpy officer. Okay. Attack with my weapon, obviously. Oh wait, let me power up. Slash, slash. Kick. Yeah! What was that? I got a fucking gun? <laughs> Illicit firearm one handed per damage when shot. I mean, that's cool. Let me have respect. I'm going to equip my gun. You don't have time to change the equipment. Okay, fine. Let me go here. You advance to the next experience, choose one perk and one stat upgrade. Okay. Here are my perks. Outdoors. Plus one luck. Plus one knowledge. I kind of like the leadership. Stamina or reason? I think I need more reason than anything else. Resolve combat. Why is it so quiet all of a sudden? That's not good. So let me go to my gun. Can I equip my gun? I kind of want to keep my katana though. Is it possible for me to... Oh, I can go to slot B. God damn it. Go to the katana. I'm going to keep the katana because it's done me pretty good. Okay, let's go in here. Is that blood? Where is everyone? Find the missing people. Trail of blood is a sickly... Okay. Oh god, it's a fucking face. Explore the forest. Come on, dog. You got this. While wandering through the woods, you discover strange carvings of one of the trees and by and look at them. You were made recently. What could connect to the current mystery? Try to decipher the signs. You're certain the missing people were here. You're on the right trail. Awesome. Keep going in the forest. Come on, dog. We can do this. You have a feeling that you've been watched. When you hear a branch snapping, you quickly turn around. There is someone standing in the trees just a few meters away. Confront. It's just a creepy scarecrow. <laughs> awesome. Explore the forest. We can do this, dog. 
Me and you against the world, baby. Wet splash behind you, making you stop. You slowly turn around and see a young girl slowly walking in your direction. In her eyeball, there's a swarm of disgusting worms. One of them falls on the floor with a wet splash. Ooh, bitch. What's wrong with you? Wait. Boom. I can't do anything after that. Launch. Oh, did she hit me? Reaches to her eye socket. Okay, so she hasn't... Oh, no, she did hit me. Okay. Gonna go here, and that should be it. Mm-hmm. Resolve combat. Abandoned factory. Okay. Go in here. While exploring the factory, you are caught by masked people that look like Obido from Naruto. Tied up and bring you to the cult leader. We know you'd come here, raspy voice. Your aunt's voice. Coming from behind the priest's weird mask, she signals towards the door behind you. Our master is waiting for the final blood strike. A sacrifice? I mean, struggle? What in the name of fucking Jesus? With a loud bang, the ancient horror disappears and the high priest falls to the floor, grabbing their shoulder. The last thing you see before blacking out is a beam of flashlight and the hand of a police officer saving you from the fall. Later that day, detectives interrogate you for confused when you tell them about the ritual blood and eldritch being. The village is abandoned with no trace of blood anywhere. You were the only one seeing the ancient horror. Okay. While well, you couldn't catch the leader of the cults and to investigate them, People are safe. You board the old bus wondering what would happen if you didn't stop the ritual in time. Alright. We're doing good. Okay. What's up with you, old god? Oh! This is bullshit. The Eldritch Gods have gone too far. Take the key. Oh, these are all keys for the lighthouse. Alright, so let's take a quick peek for the people. God. I think now with this katana, I actually have a chance of winning. Let's watch some TV. I don't know anything about that. You gonna take a bath? Um, let me see. Need more. Let me look at me. How's my reasoning doing? It's fine. I could always use more stand more EXP, honestly. Alright, see the next case. Only two, only three more to do. I've done this one, so we can definitely get it. Vicious Versus. You discover an official looking letter. What does the firm in Tokyo want from you? We regret to form you the passing of your uncle. Oh, I'm very bad at this one. I did bad in this one. Investigate the mystery. Following the directions from the letter, you slowly fight your way through an overgrown forest path. The old mansion looking like it was torn down, rebuilt many times, but where is everyone? Tip, explore the mansion and unlock new locations. Explore. Good thing we have our dog buddy still with us. You feel watched. Retreat. Minus two reason. Takes you some time, but you finally manage to find someone in there. Another guest, you should ask them what's going on in here. Muscular man's on you. Go there if you want. So I have to go find the master bedroom. The thing that I remember that's tough about this one is you have to follow a very specific. You went to the art classroom, half finished sculpture, bizarre mask hanging on the wall. One sculpture strikes as eerily, eerily realistic. Check out the masks. Design you once saw in a cult book. Faster spiritual actions. Can I equip it? Oh god. I mean, it doesn't seem like it hurts me in any way. So I guess I'll keep the creepy ass mask. Pressing a handkerchief to your nose, you enter the dark room. There's no way they allowed your grand uncle to just lie there. What was the correct bow and clap order? Maybe other guests will know. Me. Go to the lap day corridor. Talk to this one. Okay, I need this. Spiritual 9 p.m. Start of the vigil. Vigil. 
Pray Over the Body at 10, 10 p.m. I don't know what time it is currently. Clap, clap, bow, clap. Modest Supper. Pray Over Body. It's currently 10 p.m., so I actually have to go into the master bedroom. Let's see. Clap, clap, bow, clap. Can I inspect the foot? Nope, okay. Clap, clap, bow, clap. Okay. And now I gotta get out of here. And come back at 12 a.m. Oh, I copied the tattoo. Okay. Let's explore the mansion. I only need to eat supper later on. One bun since you as you run for a beauty parlor. Before you can see anything, you notice her face. She's carved on her own eyes. If I can't see it, she cries. It can't be seen me. Great. Minus two stamina for that. Check out the supper. Strength trespass. It smells nauseating, but you put some meat on your plate. Ooh. I mean, I, I don't really need to eat it right now. Well, actually, I could eat it right now. I'm gonna eat it. God damn it. Alright, it's 11 p.m. So, I'm suicidal and hungry. God. God. Alright, let's explore and then we'll go pray over the body again. The round window in the crooked manor is calling you. You feel your strength drain for you. You stare at the bright light. Fight the feeling. Just one glance at the Eldritch landscape is enough. You manage to cover your eyes and move from plus 10 EXP and minus 1 reason. Cool. Alright, let's go visit. Well, this is bad. This is very, very bad. Let me look at the visual pamphlet real quick and see if I can fix this. Burn an envelope. Great. Let's... Let's go... Everyone's gone. Storage room. You shudder instantly, recognize the room from the newspaper photo. Three years ago, a man hanged himself from here. Why is the vigil being hanged in a place like this? It seems that someone has already removed all the furniture from this room. The overgrown plant is casting an unsettling shadow. Can't remember if I can... Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna explore. Just me and dog versus the world. Following a suspicious person, you enter an old rundown mansion room. It stinks like spoiled milk and it only has two doors, one of which is seen through. Can't see the strange man anywhere. Search the room. I got an item. Ooh. Use. Here's someone. He's just scratching his neck for some reason. Okay, let's explore the mansion more. A sudden growl coming from behind the corridor makes you stop. Oh, it's a fucking ghost. This attack can't hurt ghosts. This attack can't hurt ghosts. Oh, so I have to use spiritual. Clap. Wait a minute. Maybe it's in here. Let's go clap, 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 bow. Bow. <laughs> 
sever their ties to this world. I kind of like the idea of that if I fail it. Ritual was too short to have an effect. One, two, three, four, five. Then attack. You think you got two rituals, right? But okay, let's try. Clap, clap, bow, bow, bow. And sever the ties. I'm gonna kill this ghost before I can pacify it. I think I got three rituals, but which three? Alright, let me go clear. Let me go here. Well, it doesn't matter, I killed it. Boom. Eat shit, ghost. Bath. Approves resting at home. That sounds pretty alright to me. I'll go with knowledge, because I need some knowledge. And I'll get some more reason. Well, I guess I'll burn the envelope. Too late to open the envelope. Okay, let's go into my items. I have to go to the storage room after this. Take a bath. Thank you. God, you all look horrifying, these people. Uh, I found a meat cleaver, but that's not why I'm here. Let me close the goddamn window. Is this stronger than my katana? No, it's not stronger than my katana. Alright. Bye-bye, spooky ghost. I'm out of here. Okay, just two more and then I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, that sucks. The video is nearing its end, the whole mansion shakes some more. Walls of the corridor collapse, revealing an alien landscape. You can taste blood in your mouth and the slimy pen just slowly get closer. The voice in my head tells me what to do. No. The bloated corpse of your uncle slowly floats in the room as you bring it to close. The contract is not over yet. Cheated death twice. Okay, I can kill you though, right? They want me to sacrifice the guest, but I'm not doing that. Go here. Kick the shit out of this old man. I can't kick the shit out of this old man. see if I can do better with this. It is a lower chance of hitting. Yeah, I missed the attack. I think I'm gonna go st I'm just gonna stick with doing this and this. This seems to be working pretty alright for me. Alright, you're dead, old man. Leave me be. I have a fucking katana. contract is void. The voice booms in your head as everything gets dark. When you wake up, you find yourself lying in the glass in an old mansion nowhere to be seen. Next to you are other guests. As confused as you, everything feels as bad as a dream as the man claiming your uncle uncle really trying to cheat death itself. You and the other family finally exit the forest and leave the nightmare on it behind. One thing is certain though, you will never open the letters from all law firms from Tokyo. So let me quickly, uh... 
for you to... I don't know if I'll ever need funds again, but... Alright, let's see what the effect I got here. Great. <laughs> My home. Let me go quickly to the lighthouse. Because now I have three. Oh, wait, now go here. I guess I don't need to. Let's see, watch TV. I'm still looking pretty good. Take a bath. Let's see what I need. I actually do need um, stamina. Let's see. Start new mystery. Oh wait, one moment. I just noticed how long this video is, and I feel like since I'm doing so good, I don't want to stop. So this is end up. There's gonna end up being two videos of World of Horror. So hopefully you join me next time for the thrilling conclusion of World of Horror. That's the end of tonight's night, everyone. Till next time. Peace out.